It is illegal for an individual under the age of 21 in the United States to possess, consume, or otherwise acquire liquor. Such a crime is considered a gross misdemeanor in the state of Washington and may result in up to 364 days of jail and a $5,000 fine. Crazy. This criminal charge is called minor in possession and or consumption of alcohol, and today we discuss this surprisingly serious crime. Welcome. My name is David Jolly. A minor in possession charge, or MIP, is actually very serious, and as such, you should defend yourself in court. It may not seem like it's the end of the world, but such a conviction may cause considerable headaches in the future if you're applying for government grants or student loans, applying for a job, traveling to another country, or if you ever find yourself in the criminal court system again. Your only objective is to do everything you can to dismiss this charge. Unfortunately, these charges are usually easy for a prosecuting attorney to prove. In Washington state, the prosecuting attorney must only prove you are, quote, exhibiting the effects of consuming liquor. Exhibiting effects may include the odor of alcohol in your breath and either that you are in close proximity to alcohol that was recently consumed, whatever close proximity means, or that your speech, manner, appearance, behavior, or lack of coordination displays that you are indeed under the influence of alcohol. These cases are definitely not impossible to defend, but they have their challenges. So, how can you get your case dismissed in court? The thing you should do is first consult with a local attorney who is familiar with your court. Many courts offer programs to first-time offenders that will permit the dismissal of this charge. One option the court may have and potentially can be negotiated with the prosecuting attorney is something called an SOC, or Stipulated Order of Continuance. These agreements are also sometimes called pretrial diversion agreements or simply diversion agreements. These programs are contracts between yourself and the governmental agency, whether that be a city or the state of Washington in this case. You agree to behave yourself, pay a small fine, and attend an ADIS class and or complete an alcohol evaluation. The ADIS class is the Alcohol Drug Information School and is eight hours long and run by local alcohol drug treatment facilities. Presently, in early 2021, you can do these classes via the video conferencing app, Zoom. Another condition we often see as part of these agreements is community service. Such participation may be eight hours or more, so obviously discuss this option with your attorney. Again, during the COVID pandemic, community service is not as easy as it once was. But then again, nothing is as easy as it once was. If you successfully complete the terms and conditions of this agreement, the MIP will be dismissed. We often see the length of these agreements being 6, 12, or even 20 months in length. However, not every court offers such agreements. In some courts, there is a program that can be negotiated that will dismiss your MIP after you have completed the requested conditions. Again, usually the ADIS class and or community service. Upon payment of a court fee, the case will be dismissed without the waiting period that is required with an SOC. Fortunately, not all courts offer either of these options, but you may have another trick up your sleeve. Your attorney might be able to negotiate a deferred sentence, not a deferred prosecution, but a deferred sentence. Such a result is a conviction, but after the end of probation, typically one or two years, the case will then be dismissed. Think of it as short-term pain, but long-term gain. If you need to defend the charge, defenses to this crime are built into the statute and include the use of alcohol in accordance with a special permit, use of alcohol in connection with a religious service, 
use of alcohol for medicinal purposes by a parent, guardian, physician, or dentist, or when alcohol is provided by a parent or guardian and consumed in their presence. Of course, there may be other defenses to this charge that preceded the actual contact with the minor and should be discussed in detail with your attorney. If you have any questions about minor in possession and or consumption of alcohol, please subscribe to our channel or read our blogs.